Hey, it's Laurie Andreacchio here, and today I am on the mat with a supercharged combo practice for you to help shed excess weight, both physical and mental weight. We're going to combine some yoga and some cardio, and we're going to hit it. We have some high intensity interval training. So get ready to fire it up, melt it down, and clear it out. Let's go. We're going to start standing up. Come to the top of your mat and just pause for a few breaths as you ground down through your feet. And just take a few breaths to center and calm yourself and bring the intention into your heart of shedding some excess weight, becoming lighter becoming freer. Nice. And now let's extend our arms up and roll down. Press down through the feet and start rolling back up from the lower spine up. Lower belly, extend and reach up. And let's come down again and wave the spine back and forth. Keep the legs bent so there's no pressure on your lower back or on your hamstrings at this point. And just sway it, make it feel good. Open things up. As you come back to center, take an inhalation, send your six bones back into space. And as you exhale, start Pressing down, gathering some energy up and waving up one more time. And roll down again. Wave that spine long now. Take your fingertips up onto your shins and extend, lift up in that lower spine, that lower belly. Nice some traction here for your spine, elongating. And take it down again, plant your fingertips strong, down to strong palms. Step one foot back and then the other. And start pedaling your feet. Waking things up. Nice. So from here, you're going to twist your knees to the right. Take your heels to the left. Little twisted dog. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the other side. Shrug your shoulders down your spine, down your back. Back up to center and pause here for a few breaths as you twist your knees back to the right, heels to the left, and open up the side body a bit more. Inhale back to center and now spin the knees to the left. Nice. Breathe into that left side body. Open. And as you extend back up to center, take a deep inhalation down to the lower belly. Exhale, let it out with a lion's breath. And the next inhalation, bend everything, your elbows, your knees, and weight that spine forward as you exhale, lift up that lower belly. Drop your knees here for diagonal chaturanga. Lower pubic bone touches first. Shrug the shoulders away from the ears. And inhale, and then exhale up. Cobra, can you take it at your own level? Exhale back down, inhale. Exhale, press back up, lift up from that lower spine. And exhale back down. Take another inhale and wave it back to child. Pull your hips back, wave from side to side, and start to liquefy. Back to center. Take a breath in, down to that lower belly. Exhale, hug and lift up from the pelvic floor as you come to all fours. Inhale again as you exhale, bend, get close to the earth, bending your elbows. Round up, exhale, 
to cat. Inhale, bend, scoop up, arch your back, dog. And back to cat. So you can get a little playful here, move it in direction that works for you. You can circle, come back through center. Again, so bending your arms in between your cat and your dog, using the earth to gather up some energy. One more here, nice. Back to all fours, tabletop, and extend your hips to downward facing dog. Give it an inhale, exhale, lion's breath. And now bend everything in, your knees, your elbows, and walk your feet up towards your hands and hang for a few breaths here. You're going to focus on that belly bonfire breath as you inhale all the way down to the pelvic floor. Exhale, hug and lift, squeeze that breath gently out and up your spine. Inhale down again. Exhale, hug and lift from the pelvic floor all the way through. Let these two gonna roll up, but now pressing down through the feet. Inhale, raise the arms up, come through center, and roll it back down. Take the fingertips to the shins one more time, and extend that spine long, lift up that lower belly support, the lower back. And come up down, strong fingertips to strong palms. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. Take a deep breath in, bend your elbows, bend your knees, and from that lower belly, extend the right leg up. And as you exhale again, come in with your right knee into your chest, to your nose, lift high up onto the back toes, up through the upper back, squeeze it, core plank, and step that right foot forward. Inhale some length through the spine, elongate. As you come up, bend the back leg and extend the arms up, exhale, fist of fire. Inhale, extend both legs, exhale, fist of fire. So again, utilizing that belly breath to fire things up. Exhale, hug and lift up. Inhale, exhale. Again, you're warming up, turning it up from the inside out. One more, reach it out long, and let it go with the lion's breath. Nice, put the palms down again from the fingertips, spread. Take that right leg back and extend it up and have it come down, meaning its partner. Take an inhale as you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, and from the lower belly, lift that left leg up. Exhaling again, knee into chest, up into that upper back, squeeze some Nice. And step the left foot forward. Inhale, extend the back, extend, extend the spine long. Nice. As you exhale, bend the back knee in. And extend up. Again, fist of fire. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Hug and lift up from the pelvic floor up through the middle of the body, all the way up the spine. Exhale, fire it up. I don't know about you, but I'm getting warm already. One more. Reach it out and let it go with a lion's breath. Plant the fingertips down to strong palms. Take that left leg back and up. Plant the left foot down by the right foot. Inhale again as you exhale, bend your arms, bend your legs, and weave your spine to a long plank. So you're unrolling. Press back into the palms, exhale, back to down dog. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, and wave back again. Nice. Take a deep breath in here. Lift up through the low belly, try not to sag, so you wanna Lift nice and strong, take the knees down, point the toes, and lower, shrug your shoulders back, 
Nice. Inhale here, some length. Exhale, hug and lift. And come into maybe a little higher cobra here. And back down. Exhale again, lift. Again, be mindful of where you are and modify things as you need. You're gonna come back to child's again and wave it out. Inhale and exhale. All right. So lifting back up, give yourself a stretch out here and roll on up. Extend the arms up and come down. So we're gonna come ready to fire it up a little more here. Coming to the center of your mat. And as we do these hit intervals, I want you to, again, be mindful of where you are, challenge yourself and modify as you need to. Breathe through the mouth when necessary. So this is meant to be challenging, but again, at your level for your body. So come to the center of your mat. We're gonna come out into a temple goddess pose. Awesome. So starting here and come to the right corner of your mat, feet together, back to goddess. So these hit intervals are gonna be just a minute, divided up into a lower version, a medium version, and a higher. So here's our low impact. Stick your booty out. Again, you want your knees to be back by your heels. Nice. So pretty moderate, um, pretty low impact here. Pretty easy-ish. Again, stick that sits bones back into space. And we're gonna start taking it up a little bit quicker. Nice. Again, you can always stay with the first version. Keep it up. Again, sit bones back in space. Okay, and from here, you can even jump it in, jump it out. Or just quicken the moderate version. Nice. There you go. Ten more seconds. Come on, you can do it. Three, two, one. Awesome. Breathe it. Walk it. So take it around. Let that heart rate come back down. Might need to breathe through the mouth here. That cute little Ujjayi breath might not be working so well for you. Need more oxygen for these. Nice, so we're just gonna take it down for a few breaths. Keep it moving. Nice. So coming back to the front of your mat. <sighs> yeah, I told you we were gonna fire it up today. <laughs> so we're gonna start. Both legs together. The right leg's gonna stay forward and you're gonna step the left leg back to a lunge and forward. So right leg stays forward, knee over the heel. Don't step back so far that you lose your balance. And use that fire breath, breathe through your mouth. Nice. I'm gonna take it a little on that angle so I can see you better. So we're gonna start to quicken here a little bit. Nice. So staying with the first level, we're starting to quicken the pace a little more moderately. Nice, now bring the knee up for 10. As quick as you can, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it out. Walk it out. Dance it out. <laughs> Get that breath back. I'm working with you. 
for clearing. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Melting it down, firing it up. So you get a little break. We're only doing five of these hit intervals. Five little minutes. You can do it. We're going to come back to the top of the mat. This time left foot's going to stay forward. Take a breath in, send the booty back. And left foot's back, forward, right foot's back. And step. And back. Forward. Nice. Take it in. And keep the knee over the heel and press up through the heel as you come up. That'll intensify it a little more, keep it a little safer also. <laughs> so you can quicken the pace a bit more now, more moderate. Again, a reminder to stay where you need to be. But if this is really easy, fire it up a little bit and accomplish what you came to do. Nice. So we're gonna move into a more intense, bring the knee up for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh yeah. And dance it out, walk it out, shimmy it out. Let the heart rate drop just for a few minute or so. See, so we're alternating, really firing up the fast twitch here, which you don't get often in yoga. So, all right, let's come back. We're almost there. You can just come to a chair. Nice. And extend up into the balls of your feet. Send the sits bones back as you come to the chair. No stress on your knees and pop it up, pop it up, nice. So just here, a nice easy pace-ish. Really coming up onto the balls of your feet, squeezing the booty as you come up, you want a little more. All right. And, So you can start going a little quicker, a little more moderate pace. Press up through the heels and then come up onto the balls of the feet. Come down to the heels. Maybe you can extend your toes up on the way down. Okay. So for 10 more, let's come up and back. Jump. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah. I'm there with you. Shedding it, firing it up. Breathe it, give yourself whatever you need here in these few seconds. One more in a row to go. Oh yeah. So give it your best. We're going to come back to the center and back to temple. Come to the corner again, to the right side. Back to temple. Back to corner. Temple. Right side again. Send the sits bones back. Press up through your heels. So you can pop it up. Pop it up in your chair. Yeah. Pop it up twice if you want. <laughs> Give it a ha, 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 a little extra core boost, and ha, ha, and go, ha, 10 more seconds, whatever fired up version is for you, take it to your highest level, okay. Last moment, and yeah, you did it. <laughs> we did it. Breathe it in, let it go. Fired it up, 
melted it down and now it's clearing let that heart rate settle down give yourself a minute or two whatever you need for your heart rate to come down and when you're ready come back to the top of your mat give yourself an inhale and roll down wave the spine long take the hands up fingertips on the shins wave it back <coughs> excuse me <laughs> yeah i did it with you too <laughs> i'm breathing hard <sighs> so then both legs and now straighten your right leg and bring your left hand to your left hip keep that left leg bent get a little twist in here and open up your hip. Yeah, we worked it. <laughs> Breathe, settle them down. Back to center. Wiggle it around, wave it around. Whatever you need to do. And then bending both legs. Straighten the left leg and keep that right leg bent. The right hand's gonna come to the right hip. <sighs> And find a nice twist there and see the more you bend the right leg see how that switches up the stretch let the breath get calm let the mind calm and back to center step one foot back step the other foot back and take it to child's again and wave Come back to center and just pause here for a moment with your forehead down, knees together, knees apart, whichever's more comfortable. And kind of roll your third eye on the mat as you massage your seat of intelligence, reminding yourself to relax a little more, breathe calmly, let something release. Let some excess weight go. Clear the mental clutter and feel yourself become lighter. Nice. Then roll yourself back up and come to a seat. Then shake your legs out. Then give them a little tap. So bend your left leg in and take your right leg across. And settle in here, let your seat root into the earth, your sitting bones down. Take that right arm, the left arm, sorry, up and plant it on top of your right knee. The right arm's gonna come to, the, to your back, to the floor behind your back. And settle in here for a few breaths. Grow long through the spine. Exhale. And you want to twist more from the upper spine. And also feel that nice stretch along your right hip. And let that release. Let yourself unwind. You can take your head around to the right as well. And releasing as you're ready. Let's come over to the side and counter it a bit. Get a little playful. Move it the way you want. And unravel. And now twist the other way. So the right leg's bent, left bent over and across. Settle in again, root down. Right arm's gonna come up and down onto the Right, left knee. I'm having trouble with lefts and rights today. Grow the spine long as you root down through your base. Feel the left hip release. And try not to twist so hard that you're twerking. Do it not with your arms, do it with your core so you're not over twisting. Yeah, you shouldn't snap back if you root if you move your arms. The left, your chin can come around to the left, if that feels good. And then untwist, 
we'll pause in an easy pose and just give the spine a little attention here as you come forward offering the heart and rock yourself back nice so if there are any other movements you need to do go ahead and do them and when you're ready once again coming down onto your spine and give yourself a few minutes just to rest and allow the new programming to come into the mind, into every cell of the body. Get a minute or two here, relaxation. Namaste. See you next time on the mat.